James Sabalski for EA Sports. Welcome to the Peg. We're in Winnipeg where the Jets are looking to soar in front of the home fans. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening faceoff. The Jets take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Fires it on net. Oh, and he denies it with a fantastic stop there. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Zuccarello. Pulls it to the middle. And he scores. He's able to finish that deke on his forehand where he can get some extra mustard to put it in the open net, James. But it's all about the deke and now waiting the goaltender. He's just got incredible poise and patience with the puck. The Wild have struck quickly and there's still a relatively clean sheet of ice out there. Yeah, it's early in the first period here and you can see that they just have that sense of urgency, James. It's almost as if they said, yeah, we know we're in your barn. We're going to come at you right away. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And he was big hit on the play. And there's the whistle as it looks like the pane of glass is broken. Well, the good thing is, James, that the glass doesn't shatter like it used to. And they can just replace the pane. But they'll have to do that because everything is about safety first. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Rossi's won it off the faceoff. Musa quickly over to Kaprizov. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. hellebuck has got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Here's the change. 50, 50. Rossi's won the draw and they're on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Kaprizov. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Minnesota's up one zip. Gaudreau's won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. Takes the feed. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Tries to feed it over to Brodeen. Puck scooped up by Nemestikov. Scrum along the boards. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Back to the point it goes. Denies him, he got all of it. Taken along the wall by Boudreau. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Huge steal in his own end. And he takes the pass. Appleton's got it in the offensive zone. Receives the pass. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. And he takes a shot. Great stop by Fleury. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Works it across to Hartman. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Foligno. Takes it into the slot, and he comes up with it. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Here's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. The Jets will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. Flurry's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Quick feed to Morrissey. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Handles that one. Slides it diagonally to Perfetti. Along the half wall with the puck. 
And that's a great hands up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Picked up along the boards by Perfetti. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. To lose it with the save. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Erickson X ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. From the open ice, they gain the line. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Great save, played it perfect. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. And he was ready for that save. Minnesota's coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far, leading late in the first. The Jets win the draw. Grabbed along the boards by Pionk. Gains the zone through center. Quick feed to Appleton. And another stop. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Pushes it across to Boldy. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here's a chance! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Hammers it! Big save right at the end! That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. With all proceeds going to local charities. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Hellebuck's the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. And now it's over to Kaprizov. Levels him with the hit. Lots of time left in this period. One nothing to score. Rossi's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Pass to DeMello. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Kaprizov. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Morrissey's got the puck in his own zone. Sends a pass over. Carries it across the line. And the defenders come up with the puck. Down the right side and into the zone. Dillon's been slashed. Penalty coming up. And here's a pass to Ehlers. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. Winnipeg's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. And they can't get frustrated, but they have to look for the weak side for that one-timer. The Jets take possession off the faceoff. And that's blocked from someone in front. Puck picked up by Duhay. Quick pass to Tour. And he comes up big with the stick shave, getting all of it with the paddle. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Tries to get it over to Duhayne. Great heads-up play with the stick by Pionk. Handles the pass. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Oh, just goes off his glove and it stays out. Devastating hit into the boards and break away. Oh, on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the 
bartender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Helovic's used to facing a lot of shots over the course of the game, and it helps him get into the rhythm, guys. His workhorse zone ability means his performance and engagement level goes up the more shots he faces. And he coughs it up with the pass! And he's got that one! The Jets can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Well, when you have the player advantage and you're down by a goal, you have to generate some momentum. And the first stop is putting it in the back of the net. And now they're back at even strength, trying to get back on the board. Moves it to Perfetti. Pokes it away in his own end. Takes the feed at the point. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Dumps it in. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Now a quick pass to Connor. Working the puck deep inside their own end. He got all of that hit. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Perfetti. Strong defensive effort. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Hartman's taking it from his own end. Comes up with the steal. Quick pass over to Niederreiter. Reads the play and forces the turnover. The Jets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Fleury. Minnesota's offense has been in full effect tonight as they continue to lead late in this second period. Rossi's won a big draw on their own end. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Quick shot, and that goes off course wide. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't big stop just as time expires in the period. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Winnipeg's not going to be able to get back in this game if they sit on the perimeter and they continue to chase the game, James. They've got to be urgent on it. They've got to hound pucks, and then they've got to get going north. But when they do, they have to have an attack mentality. They've been sitting back all game. They've been flat, and they're lucky. They're fortunate that they're still in this game. The Jets win the draw on their own end. Here's a short pass to Morrissey. Looking for space inside the D zone. And he slides it quickly to Shifley. Centering feed! And that doesn't connect. Dishes it to Zuccarello. They've got numbers here. Fires it! Makes the save. Hellebuck's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. Minnesota's benefited from lots of shots on net here tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Good use of the body on the play. Coughs up possession of the puck. Minnesota's on the attack. How did he stop that one? As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Gaudreau's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And they get the job done. Gets a pat on it. What a stop by Fleury. For the low slot. And that one stopped. Hellebuck's been dialed in right from puck drop. 
games. I mean, he's made the key saves that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. Lowry's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Dumps it in. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. That's blocked. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick feed to Zuccarello. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Reaches out and uses the stick. Shifley's almost back on the ice. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. all sorts of pressure. Minnesota's been total non-stop action on the offensive end, and they continue to lead in the third. And they win the draw on their own end. Here's a shot. That's off a stick. Nice zone entry from the left. Aya follows, got it against the boards. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Great pressure to force the turnover by Shifley. Tries to get the puck over to Brodeen. It's been a low-scoring affair, James, but it's been entertaining on both sides, just unable to finish. And as an athlete, this can be very frustrating. You're squeezing the stick tighter and tighter with every miss. Shot! Winnipeg's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Erickson X hauled down, penalty on the way. And here comes the judgment from the official. Well, when you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're shorthanded. They're gonna have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. The power play unit goes right back to work. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Here's a shot. Denies have been close. And that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right all alone. Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deke. And while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. Here's the clearing attempt. Oh, that's a big time clearing attempt there. Yeah, that's a great defensive play. You got to be strong on your stick. You got to know where everyone is. And let's face it, coach knows exactly who's out there at this time of the game for that very reason. Here's the puck over. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Quick pass to Goudreau. Keeps it out. Got a piece of it with the trapper. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Fires it into the offensive zone. The man advantage expires and a tip of the cap to the penalty killers who come up big. Timing. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. And Cheryl, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here, still applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the compete, the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing them the love. Gains the zone on the left wing. Moves it to Goudreau. Hellebuck's made his way quickly to the bench, and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. And not only with the W, he also gets the shutout in this one, Cheryl. Strong effort defensively. A well, great effort, and he was the last line of defense and really tracked well. And in particular, he anticipated the play, made some great reads. And what about his rebound control? Well, that puts a bow on the night here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. See ya.